I have here in front of me two official museum grade Chico A prints from The Last of Us Part 2. Leaving by art director John Sweeney and Ascent by environment concept artist Sebastian Groma. I thought it was impossible, but for me, The Last of Us Part 2 improved on everything that its already excellent predecessor did. This sequel to The Last of Us came out well over a year ago, and if I'm honest, probably not a day went by since that I didn't think about this game. Partly because here at the gallery we are surrounded by uh, awesome The Last of Us art every day, but also because this game is just an absolute tour de force by a studio at the top of its game. The Last of Us Part 2 is a singular achievement in the AAA game space. It's not afraid to make the player feel uncomfortable, to not necessarily want to please the player with his storytelling at all times. And if you're working with AAA budgets and these massive fan expectations, that, a that is a very courageous thing to do. The Last of Us is a bleak game, on par with a beautiful novel like The Road. The game tells a captivating, post-disaster story, where infallible characters deal with hatred and love and have to deal with the cost of revenge. It is a game that doesn't necessarily promise redemption or catharsis at the end. Even if a print such as this, featuring one of the closing scenes of the game might suggest otherwise. Looking at this print a bit more closely, uh, the world building done through the writing and art direction in The Last of Us Part II are second to none. And a lot of that world building reveals itself in concept art images like these two I have here in front of me. Which is partly what makes concept art, is art so exciting in general. For example, players of the game might have picked up that every chapter in The Last of Us is colorized in a way. The red surreal lighting in some of the underground sections for example. Lush greens in others. Uh, this scene of the game has a dark bluish gray color. Uh, and this is meant to incite the memory of when Joel gets murdered at the start of the game. A chapter that is also lit in that same dark grayish blue, as you might recall. These scenes are a parallel of where both characters' paths of violence has led them. In a sense, another aspect of the world building of The Last of Us Part II is highlighted. First off, this is the first print that we have that features Abby, which is awesome and long overdue. Because we didn't want to spoil the story, she was kept out of, out of the first The Last of Us Part Two art releases. And here we see her doing the ascent of a destroyed skyscraper in Seattle. Doing a destroyed post-apocalyptic building environment might sound straightforward, but to create something believable you have to think about things like what is the incident that destroyed this building? How long ago was that? What is the state of the decay? Is the place untouched or previously looted before you came here? Is someone still living barricaded inside and has made some sort of shelter? All these things shape the environment you're creating and that is part of the purpose of a piece such as this. If you'd like to know more about the art direction of The Last of Us Part II, I recommend reading the excellent interview we have with art director John Sweeney on our site. There you can also find these two gorgeous prints. Only 250 of each are available. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for our weekly video game art talk.